Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So it's September in Minnesota and we're coming to the end of another great butterfly season. So I thought I would share with you all the butterflies that have been attracted to my garden this year and it will gain insights for you on maybe what butterflies you can attract into your garden. So let's get started. The first butterfly I'd like to start out with is the Painted Lady. It's probably the most common butterfly in North America. It's certainly the most uh, popular butterfly in my garden. You can see it's an orange black butterfly. Its wingspans maybe two to three inches, so a little smaller than the monarch. On the back side of its wing, there's usually four predominant uh, round circles. That's one way to identify it. When the wings are up, you can see it's a little duller color, browns, but when it opens it up, the wings up, it looks a little more spectacular. You can see it loves the sedum flowers late in the summer. It loves zinnias. And again, it's the, probably the most popular butterfly I see in my garden. The next butterfly I'd like to share with you is the Red Admiral Butterfly. You can see it's orange and black, very similar to the Painted Lady with that two to three inch wingspan, which is about the same size. Uh, it enjoyed the zinnias in my garden. You can see this one in particular had a little damage to it right its right wing, which created a little bit of a problem for it as it fluttered around my garden. This beautiful butterfly is the spring azure. I didn't see it very often in my garden. It's really a beautiful butterfly. It's very small. It's only got a wingspan of about one inch. And it looks like some of the other versions of azures. There's a summer azure. They're hard to distinguish, but they come in a really spectacular blue, white, uh, sometimes even a taupe color. And again, I really enjoyed seeing this in my garden. Like the spring azure, the yellow clouded sulfur butterfly is very small. Its wingspan is maybe one to two inches. It's often very yellow like these uh, shots I have of this butterfly. Sometimes they can have a little more green tint to them. They also have a white spot on the side of the wing, which is one of the ways you can recognize this very cool butterfly. I saw it on my purple coneflowers and on my zinnias in my garden. For the first time, I saw this fabulous butterfly in my garden. It's the Great Spangled Fritillary. There are a lot of types of fritillaries. There's an Aphrodite fritillary that looks a lot like the Great Spangled Fritillary, but all of them have the orange and black colors and the spots on their wings. They're about two and a half to three and a half inch wingspans with this butterfly. They really enjoy the purple cone flowers, and that's where I saw them spend most of their time when they visited my garden. All right, I get it. This is not a butterfly. It's a moth, the Cecropia silk moth. It's one of the two largest moths in North America. I found this one resting in my driveway this summer. I thought it was so extraordinary. Its wingspan can get up to six inches. And when it opens its wings, it's got these two dark eyes that stare at you. These moths, they have no mouths, so they do not feed. Uh, they only are around for a couple of weeks before they mate and have more eggs. Their host plants are willow trees, birch trees, maples, oaks, ash. And then the caterpillars can get up to four inches long before they turn into these large cocoons. All right, let's get back to butterflies. So here we come in with the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. This is one of the beautiful butterflies you'll see in Minnesota. They're big, right? They have a wingspan up to five and a half inches wide. You can see they're really majestic. I've found that this Eastern Tiger Swallowtail really gravitates to the zinnias and to the purple cone flowers. So I would encourage anybody uh, to plant those in their garden and try and attract these magnificent butterflies. One way to tell the difference between the male and the female tiger swallowtail is by the amount of blue on the back of its wings. Males are just black and yellow, but the females have this vibrant blue at the bottom of their, their wings. If you want to hear more about swallowtails, listen to my YouTube video, Swallowtails in Minnesota. next swallowtail I'd like to share with you is the giant swallowtail. So the giant swallowtail has showed up in my garden each of the last couple years. It's a large butterfly, the largest in North America, with a wingspan from six to seven inches. 
It loves the purple cone flowers, the phlox plants, and it really likes the zinnias. So these butterflies are large. They have this rapid wing movement, movement that makes it really easy to identify. So I absolutely get excited when these butterflies show up in my garden. The last butterfly I'm sharing with you is the monarch. This is where it all began for me is when I heard about the plight of the monarch butterfly, I got really excited about trying to do what I could do to help save the monarch. And I've built my butterfly habitat in my backyard and tried to really do a great job attracting monarchs. And I've had some success. I'm pretty excited about it. You can see they love uh, milkweed, zinnias, purple coneflowers. Their host plant is the milkweed. That's where they lay their eggs. And the caterpillars feed on the milkweed and then eventually the chrysalis turns into the monarch butterfly. So I had some great shots this summer in the garden of multiple monarchs on my purple cone flowers. The male and female monarch are a bit hard to tell the difference, but the males have these two black dots. And this picture shows those black dots on the back of its wings. And that's how you can tell it's a male versus a female. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the butterflies of my garden this summer. If you do, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Write some comments. I'd love to talk about butterflies and butterfly habitat with you. But that's all I have for now. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out.